the first thought that came through my mind was that I was stepping on holy ground. This was the stage that Larry Scott stepped on, that Sergio Oliva stepped on, that Arnold Schwarzenegger stepped on to compete for honors to see who the best bodybuilder in the world is. When Joe Weider developed the Mr. Olympia contest in 1965, the idea was to lay the ground for a competition that would be the best of all competitions. Before the Mr. Olympia, it was all I could think about. It, I was like a, a missile honing in on a target. And I think that it takes that kind of drive, that kind of controlled obsession in order to push yourself to the extremes that are necessary to be competitive or to even win the Mr. Olympia. Who do you think is going to win? I, I think we should expect the best. The best Phil Heath we've ever seen. I don't think anybody touches him. He's seven times Mr. Olympia. Listen to this. Seven fucking times he won the Mr. Olympia back to back. You know, we're expecting that 2011 wild, holy shit moment to come from Phil. Not everyone's created equal and Phil was gifted. That's why they call him the gift. And if he's even close to what he can be, he's going to win. I expect Phil to come out guns blazing. He's not only detailed, he's big. That's hard to beat. I don't want to sound disrespectful to anyone, um, but I think Phil's that good. It's going to take a special person to knock Phil off. Phil Heat at his best is, he's Mr. Olympia. He has all the tools the best chance to take the title back. And everybody else is just kind of there for the ride. He doesn't need to worry about anyone on this list. He's beat them all. Woo! You're defending Olympia champion, the gift, Phil Heath. Your defending champion, Mr. Olympia Bill, the gift, he. But I don't think Brandon Curry has taken his foot off the gas with four kids at home. He's got a team of people, he's in Kuwait. The camel crew, the oxygen gym. He leaves his family. He sacrifices so much. He's going to be the most dangerous and he's going to go all out. And being Mr. Olympia, I think, will put more motivation in your ass than anything else on this planet. So I know he is 100% motivated. So he is 100% ready here. And that's why I believe Curry's body will follow his mind. There's nothing worse than winning the title and losing it the next year. I am 100% sure that Brandon will be better. I think his upper body is right there with Phil's. Phil doesn't have the V-taper that Brandon has. Phil's two worst shots 
is his front double bicep and his front lat spread. He knows that. Brandon Curry is the champion. He's the man to beat. We can't forget that. Seven-time champion Phil Heath. I mean, if that's not motivation for you to bring your game, your A game, I don't know what would we be. Big Romney comes in strategy, he can win. He's one of the best bodybuilders in the world. I've been talking about seeing Romney since 2013 hit it right. I hope he hits it 100%. I'd love to see that showdown, but uh, man, I don't, I don't know. You know, how hard do you want it? Like, how aggressive can you be up there? You know, that ship will sail this year if Big Romney doesn't show up 100%. The fans are waiting. Teamwork this time. If you prepare for the biggest show in the world, you should be prepared 100%. Not 80%, not 90%, 100%. And that's the goal. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. Nothing else but training, cardio, and, and, and posing. It's back to basics, back to the roots. The blade. 51 years old, Dexter Jackson is on fire. Don't count out Dexter this year, okay? He is dedicated. And me retiring at the Olympia, possibly winning. You never know. You never know, because your boy, and I ain't gonna say nothing, y'all just wait. Y'all just be there, y'all just be there to watch this. I got something for y'all, boy. He's gonna make it to America. Will he make it to the show? He's a threat. He's a definite, bona fide threat. If there's anybody that's going to stand next to Phil from behind and look fucking dry, nasty, peeled, crazy tie-ins, it's hot. William Bonac, second place last year. His muscle is round and it pops. A lot happens when he poses. He's dangerous. I, I think that uh, uh, Hunter has no weaknesses. If he does bring it, watch out. I mean, he has everything. That front double is crazy. His legs are crazy. His arms are crazy. And he has the pedigree. You know, he's got the mindset and he's got the team around him. He is a wild card, like he could really mix this up. It's really gonna come down to how the condition is. Max has the type of condition that very few guys can match. And you know, he's got an upper body that's crazy. So he, he can be dangerous. 
Ian Valliere. I think he's got the structure. He's like a Dennis Wolf up there. He's got a lot of muscle, that guy. They know that you're not playing any games. That's why they all have said, I train harder knowing he's coming back. That's the privilege. I have a privilege of getting everyone's best shot. <laughs> These people are coming for blood. You're training for Mr. Olympia. It's your life. That makes this Olympia so special. They all working. Oh, we in for a big treat. Get your popcorn, get your get your skittles, get all that shit ready. Wow.